Time for a little interleague series here at Miller Park. Another beautiful day and turning into a beautiful night. He was very good his first time out against the Reds. That was great American ballpark, a very hitter friendly ballpark. One run, three hits in six innings. All star good last year and became a power hitter, and that's carried over into the first several weeks of this season as he shoots one fair and it's going to bound into the seats and a double right out of the box for Lindor. He was an all star a year ago. And it's rushed back and highly hurt. Got, yeah we go. Miley is what did he do start number two here for Wade Miley and Something you see where he's pointing on the side deal. Yeah. Right there you can see him flinch right there and. The side, the oblique, is that what the oblique Lived is? Right around there, yeah. yeah. And he's his night is over. And now Brent Suter, who knows the drill of both starting and coming out of the bullpen. It's really a little bit of both here tonight as he will face the fourth hitter in the game. And a bouncing ball to Nick Franklin. The play will be at first to the covering Suter for out number two. That's a pretty good work by Brent Suter. Reigning Cy Young Award winner in the American League, Corey Kluber. Yeah, one of the best in the business. One two pitch. And a strikeout for Kluber to begin his night. Here's Travis Shaw. And while it's been a couple of years, Shaw has had some success against the Indians in general, as you can see, but specifically against Kluber. It's four for 11 against him. That includes a home run. Two two pitch. Shaw gets in there and deep to right field. Travis Shaw turns on Clover and the Brewers grab the early lead. There you go, get him early. Coming in at a moment's notice like this and being able to get the job done, that's not an easy thing to do. Bunting situation here as the corner infield fielders creep in. And that bunt is caught by Suter, and it turns into a double play. Wow, how about that? Suter laying out, and they catch Guy off the bag at second. Brett, Brent Suter coming in for the injured Wade Miley. Squashes a threat in the first. He does it again in the second. In the air to center. Kane going back. And that's out of here. Number 10 on the year for Jose Ramirez, and that gets the Indians on the board. Yeah, look like he went with an off speed pitch that time and left it up in the zone. And Golds will lift one into left field. Here comes Yelich. And that'll do it for the Indians here in the third. They pick up a run. The news about Mauricio Dubon. Hey, hold the thought. Here's Brett Suter going deep to center field. Yes. And it's gone. Brett Suter to dead center field. I was about to say you knew all along that Brent Suter could hit, right? For yeah. a pitcher. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> held the answer. We didn't want to step on the, the bomb there by seeing position. It makes it that much tougher. So helps them and, it, and certainly helps the organization. This is a double play ball started by Jason Kipnis. That'll do it. Indians fans everywhere as he goes down swinging as Suter elevates and gets his third strikeout. And he has a clean inning here in the fourth as he catches Kluber looking. And double play chance here. There's one and not in time. Franklin busting up the line and now he comes up getting it. Boy. 
say it ain't so. My goodness. Goodness gracious. And that's going to end the night for Nick Franklin. So two down for the Brewers tonight. Liner hit this, and it turns into a double play. Aaron Judge always comes to mind. <laughs> Fly ball out to right field. Going over is Santana. It's deep, and it is a fair ball and gone. Francisco Lindor with number nine. Second home run allowed by Suter tonight, and it's a one run game. Yeah, right down the line. Boy, he's got some good power, doesn't he? Opposite field. Rocco, we talk about guys in the bullpen who get it done any time of the game, and now here's Jeremy Jefferson inning number six. And he gets Incarnacion. And that will do it for the Indians in the sixth. Couple of strikeouts for Jeremy Jeffers, who keeps rolling along. The 2 2. And there's a strikeout for Kluber, out number two. That breaking ball got him. Dan Jennings now on the mound here for the Brew Crew with one out, bases empty in the seventh. World Series performances. There's a ground ball off the bat of Lindor to his counterpart. The combo of Jefferson and Jennings, they put together a one, two, three inning. Stretch time at Miller Park. Brewers up a run. Now on the mound, here he is. Josh Hader. Here's the one, two, and there's the slider, and there's out number one. Throwing more and more of those sliders each and every time out. I mean, you know, he's got two pitches that he feels like he can throw anytime. Simmons close to one every 15. This has popped up. Down the line, tough play. Yeah, let's, yes, sir. Goal club good, and he comes through again. Yelich, the catch for out number two. I uh, needed every bit of the speed that he's got for that one. He got a good jump on it, went right to the spot. Nick Goody, who is on the DL. Braun lines one into left field, and it's down. Yelich, the turn at second. On his way to third. Braun into second the Brewers are in business in the end. Well, a good hustle right there by Ryan Braun. I'm surprised they don't walk Santana here to load the bases. Right. Not the gunner. Yep. Thinking the same thing and that's exactly what Francona does. The one two. A little bouncer they'll get the play at the plate one and that's all they'll get. Here is Zach McAllister. Well last appeared in the game. You know, and back on the third against the Blue Jays, inning and two thirds gave up a run. McAllister ready to bring pitch number 12. Popped up. And there will be room. And he dropped the ball. And a 13th pitch will be required as Incarnacion unable to secure it. Pitch number 15. Oh, he got him on a curveball. Big time pitch by Zach McAllister. And a liner snagged by Travis Shaw for out number one. There you go, defense coming up. Hader loads up with a one two. Got it. Second strikeout for Hader, and the Brewers are one out away. The two two pitch. Got it. Oh, no, he didn't. Yep, he did. Popped out of the middle. Pena, he applies the tag. And Josh Hader, another six out save. And three more punch outs in the process. Brewers take the opener. Yeah, secret weapon. I tell you, they did what they had to do. They got the Kluber early. And the pitching stand once again able to hold on.